Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Soham Bos, and I welcome you all to News of Today. After the sudden rise in the number of COVID cases in 2021, there has been a subtle decrease in the number of COVID cases in India. In cities like Delhi, Mumbai, there has been a decrease in the number of COVID cases reported. There has been a partial or a complete lockdown in a lot of states, including West Bengal. PM Modi, in a meeting with Chief Ministers of India, had said lockdown to be the last resort. But on the brighter side, on June second, India crossed twenty-two crore vaccination cumulative vaccination. Milestone. We have our media correspondents reporting from different places in and around West Bengal. Let's see what information they have in store for us. Our first media correspondent is Aditya Bhomik from Ramchandrapur. Let's see what he has to inform us. Yes, Aditya. In the view of rising COVID cases and the immense shortage of beds and oxygen across hospitals, the government has announced a 15-day complete lockdown, which might further extend it. All government and private offices close except emergency services. The situation has suddenly improved in my region. The positivity rate also tumbled to 14 percent down from 29 percent. Also, compared to earlier, we are following. Thank you, Aditra, for letting us know what is actually going on in your area. Up next, we have Megha Kumari reporting from Jamshedpur. Let's see what is happening in Jamshedpur at present. Yes, there is some relief uh, in Jamshedpur from third week of May as the weekly detection of COVID-19 cases and deaths have registered a significant decline by 50% as compared to the previous weeks. After the second wave of COVID-19, India has registered approximately 8,000 cases of black fungus, which is a rapidly spreading infection found in those who are recovering from COVID-19. Jamshedpur authorities have not yet disclosed the total number of cases of black fungus found here. Jharkhand government has announced unlock one from 9th of June without mentioning any specific guidelines. Colleges in Jamshedpur have taken the initiative to spread the knowledge about the infection uh, with the help of students by making posters and videos. Authorities have asked people to follow the protocol strictly for being safe. Thank you. Among all of the sectors that has been affected by COVID-19 and the lockdown, the business sector has been affected the most. Due to lockdown, owners could not open their shops and as a result, they had to incur huge losses. We have one of our representatives, Megha Kumari, talk to a shopkeeper to let us know their experience. Over to you, Megha. Uh, Apna naam batayye? Mera naam Puspak Kumar hai. Ji, to uh, aap batayye ki jo pandemic hai, jo mahamari hai, iske wajay se aapke kaam mein, aapke sale mein, kis tarah se affect kar raha hai? Lekin pandemic mein effect to pada hi hai, sab ko pada hai, jokki आपके दुकान में जो भी कस्टमर्स आते हैं आप क्या प्रिकॉशन लेते हैं आने के पहले या फिर उनको कोई भी सामान देने के पहले अभी थोड़े समय के लिए दुकान एक दो घंटे के लिए हम लोग स्टार्ट किए हैं खोलना तो उसमें अगर कोई कस्टमर आते हैं तो उनको मास्क मैंडेटरी है प्लस सैनिटाइजर हम लोग साथ में रखते हैं सैनिटाइजर यूज करते हैं उनको सैनिटाइजर के बिना दिन नहीं करते हैं अब नेक्स्ट वी हैव शॉप टॉक मुखर्जी फ्रॉम सोनारपुर लेट सी वट ही Recently, a news came that the who are positive are now cured so much, and the rate of the affected people are decreasing. As as I said earlier, the Shunarpur is a junction between the village and the city, so so many workers are left to go back to their hometown. 
Recently, a news came that police, and on request of government, they arranged a car and bus for those workers to go back to their hometown. Recently, a news came that a councillor of Sonarpur's wife dies at the age of 40 three days ago due to COVID-19. We have got an update and an exclusive clip from Sonarpur that in spite of the lockdown guidelines in West Bengal, there are some shops which are being kept open. In this video, we can see a person buying groceries from a shop in Sonarpur breaking the lockdown protocols if people aren't aware of what they should do it is not possible for the government to curb this single-handedly another sector that has been affected other than the business sector is the education sector schools and colleges have been closed for over a year now on first june pm narendra modi came live and talked about the cancellation of class 12th cbsc board examinations Class 10th CBSE board examinations were cancelled earlier this year and now he talked about not risking the lives of the youth and the future of the country. Hence, CBSC class 12th board examinations has been cancelled and there has been a lot of things going on in a student's mind. We have Shoptak Mukherjee who will make us talk to a college going student. Let's see what exactly is going on in his mind yes over to your shop talk uh, the, the, what are the problems you are facing by giving the fees the actual problem is not giving the fees but the actual problem is that how much fees we are giving actually the per year per year we have two semesters and each semester we have to give 32,000 and 32,000 is not only the admission fees it also includes the electricity lab fees and everything which we are not able to use at this present situation. We are getting online classes. So why we are giving those fees which are actually given to when there is offline classes. This time we should not, we should exclude those fees and only give the teachers fees which we are getting educated for. Okay, okay. So these are the problems they are facing. Talking to the youth of the country always instills a thought in a person's mind. Moving forward, we have Anvesha Kundu reporting from Shambazar, Kolkata. Shambazar is one of the oldest places in Kolkata. Let's see what is the situation there in Shambazar. Over to you, Anvesha. Lights came to a near standstill across West Bengal on 17 May Monday as the state was put under a complete lockdown to break chain of rapidly rising COVID-19 cases. The first day of the 15-day lockdown in Shambhazar witnessed empty roads with policemen patrolling several areas to stop people from venturing out without an emergency. All shops were shut and all modes of transport went off the road as a part of the state government's plan. A similar lockdown is now increased to the 15th of June. City markets which were allowed to function from 7 to 10 in red busy with people buying groceries and vegetables. Some shop opened beyond the 10 in deadline were shuttered with the police interventions. Both police and private commercial establishments, people and private transport as well as activities other than emergency services would remain closed. The total death in this area amounted to nine this month as it reported and the worst to daily spike of three fatalities on last Wednesday as the health department of Shambhaza said. It also recorded four fresh infections pushing the tally to 17. This request that people should wear masks tells the government to take serious actions against them. Great hearing from you, Anvesha. Moving forward, we have Epshito Shah, who is reporting from Chetla, Kolkata. Let's see what Epshito has to inform us about the region. My name is Epshito Shah, and I am reporting from Chetla, Kolkata. Even though the lockdown has been extended till 15 June, many people in my area are not following the protocols. Some are seen unmasked and some are not wearing it in the proper fashion. Huge crowds are seen from 7 to 10 when the local shops are opening. Few shops are even opening after the restricted time. The West Bengal government has organized a vaccination center at Amundra Moncho for the local corporate and their family. The mayor's clinic at Chitra Central Road has been providing vaccination to the locals since 31st May. 
is low standing further notice to most of the locals have to rely on private vaccination centers. All what we had for today, we have our reporters reporting from different places in and around West Bengal just to let us know about the current scenario in those regions. We'll come back again with a lot more news, with a lot new updates. Till then, please sanitize your hands. Don't go out of your house until and unless it's extremely necessary. Please wear your masks in case you go out. If possible, wear double masks and then go out. Please keep yourself and the people around you safe. We are in this all together. Thank you.